Hey, it's uh, been a few days. We are back in the shop for this uh, push tool that should take us like 30 minutes to build and it's taking us like three hours. <laughs> Go figure. Well, you know, some days you're the bug, some days you're the windshield. But um, anyways, it's cold and rainy outside, so perfect time to get in the shop and play with some metal, right? <clears throat> um... Where'd it go? Did order some reamers, so I've got a reamer for this. And where did it? thought I had it over here. Oh, sitting over at the mill. So I, yeah, I got a set of uh, cheap import uh, millimeter reamers. So I've got the TIG welder behind me, as you see. So the plan is we'll uh, TIG up this hole hopefully and then we'll drill it undersize and then we'll use that reamer and hopefully um, we'll have a decent um, ID hole so it'll be a nice uh, fit for the eight millimeter pin that we're gonna have to turn down on the lathe so let me uh, get the TIG welder set up um, don't have a lens yet for welding so uh, We'll give it a shot anyways with the camera. I'm not sure how well it's going to pick up, but hey, what the heck, right? So anyways, let me, uh, like I said, let me get set up and uh, get you guys repositioned here. Too much heat. Cobble on that one. Oh. Back up, play with it. All right, so the aluminum welding fix uh, turned out to be a disaster. So I just uh, cut the end off and we're going to redo it. I had enough material. This thing's long enough. So already uh, located where I want to put my hole. I already center drilled it. Um, we're going to undersize it. So I've got an N letter drill bit, which is uh, 0 0.302. And we need a 315 hole. So that gives me about 13,000 to ream out. Or if this walks or wobbles or egg shapes the hole a little bit, it still gives us a few thou to play with. So let's uh, punch a hole.
slow her down once we get her going. get a uh, gauge pin and see how we did uh, let me drop it down uh, there you go all right that'll work Let's uh, flip her around and we'll mill the slot back. All right, uh, got end mill set up in here. Let's uh, buzz a slot in this thing. I may have to turn you around. So she should make it all right. A lot of side loading. See what she looks like. So we got some deburring to do. Looks like we got us a slot, Houston. Cool. All right. 
All right, we're set up over here at the lathe. Um, just dug in my round scrap steel bin and found this piece of uh, mystery metal. So she, we'll see how she turns. Uh, Got to get it down to 315. I think she is 375. So just real easy. Just going to face her off, turn her down to the diameter I need, and then we'll part her off. Hopefully I won't have to support her, I won't have a taper, but didn't machine too bad. Something better than 1018. She's hot though. Whew. Wonder if she's a piece of drill rod or something. Uh we got 355. <laughs> yeah, I was worried about that. She's flexing it. All right, let's uh, center drill her so we can support it. Darn it. Well, if I center drilled her, it would kind of really ruin the pin because I have to go in so much. So um, what I did, I just moved it in a little more to the chuck, try to get a little more support on her. And I'm just going to take light cuts. So um, that seems to work and remove the taper out. So... And 337 there and then moving down here so 369 and a half so yeah just a few tenths well the 368 70 so it helped still got a little bit so white cuts and we may just have to polish a little bit on the end on this side that's going to be fatter so we'll do that We'll just lightly chew away at it. Do another uh, five in for a total of 10. <clears throat>
see how she's gonna do there. So, 328. 326, still a couple, oh, wow. Talk about, now she's getting skinnier so she's flexing more. All right, I'm gonna peck away here to my final dimension and I'll bring you guys back. All right, I'm about to my final dimension here. Um, just thought I'd explain something in case you are kind of new to machining and that's why you're watching my channel. <clears throat> What's happening in, is the tool pressure is pushing this piece away from the tool post and the tool itself. The farther it sticks out of the chuck, the worse it's gonna get, the worse flex you're gonna get. Also, as the part gets thinner, then obviously it's less supported and then it's gonna flex even more. So what happens is you get a taper and to try to combat that, you've got a couple things. Obviously, if this was gonna be a, a larger diameter piece, then you would center drill it and you support it with your tailstock. Um, since we can't do that because it's so small, then what you wanna do is chuck the piece up as close as you can to the chuck to try to uh, get as much support out of the, the chuck itself or if you had it in a collet. And then also what I've been doing hell is just uh, taking light cuts so there's not as much pressure pushing this away. Still have a slight taper. We ended up being, so I'm at, uh, what, 16.2, take her down here, about 3.15.3, so almost a thou taper in that uh, three quarters of an inch. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take some uh, uh, emery cloth, I'm gonna polish this down to 3.15, and then uh, part it off. Alrighty, after some polishing, we are 315 to 1, and down here, 315, there you go. Alright, so we're 315 and a tenth. Works for me. Let's part this puppy off. Get you in the picture there. Let's see where we're at. Get this angle with you guys in there. All right, there's my end. Come over three uh, seven fifty. Three seven fifty. down and I'll slow her down just a hair uh, can we get B2 Let's see if that's it Stuff. Come on, baby. Stuff. Now she wants to walk on top of it. All right, fine. Well, uh, hacksaw you, baby. More than one way to get a cat, right? There she goes. Alrighty. So 
so yeah insert still well insert still looks good and just wanted to jump on top of it didn't it what do you say to give this thing a little polish got the buffer out Clean up a little bit, make it look nice. Anyways, you get the idea, I'll bring it back when I'm done. Alrighty, got you over at the Arbor Press. Got it uh, all polished up. So we'll see if we can get this pin in here and make it work. Guys, uh, you guys see that? Looks like you can. All right. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Cool. Let's take her over to the lathe. Well, there it is, uh, mounted in a tool post holder. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't find a piece of round, thin stock we could throw in the lathe and try it out. But uh, anyways, came out good. Quick little project, turned into a little bit longer than I wanted, but hey, sometimes that's the way it is, right? Anyways, uh, remember, I'm a professional, boys and girls. Don't try this at home. Hey, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, leave some comments, and I always appreciate you guys watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.